Welcome back again, folks. Now I gotta fight this bastard once more. What the hell are you? I am displeased. Where are your assassins? Blah, blah. Die! Whiny, bloody, to venter, dumbass. Yada yada yada. He wants all those lives. He lost Felix long ago. We can still help him. This Alexius was too far. And yada yada yada. We'll hold the main door. Once they break through, it's all you. We'll like do our best. Yada 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 yada. Come on, let me. Sca Ugh, fine. Though whatever. darkness closes, I am shielded <sighs> by flame. There we go. You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> That's all. Is that the best you've got? You won. There is no point extending this charade. Charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Or he can become a Grey Warden and not be killed by the Blight. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Templars? Where the hell are these people? Or not. Grand Enchanter, imagine how surprised I was to learn you'd given Redcliffe Castle away to a Tevinter Magister. King Alistair. Oh, hi! Especially since I'm fairly sure Redcliffe belongs to Arl Tegan. Your Majesty, we never intended... Shut up, Elf. I know what you intended. I wanted to help you. But you've made it impossible. You and your followers are no longer welcome in Ferelden. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? You'll be leaving here with the Inquisition. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Don't be stupid! Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I know you are a mage, but consider how these rebels have acted. They must be conscripted, not coddled. I've known a lot of mages. They can be loyal friends if you let them. Friends who make bad decisions, but still, 
loyal. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. Uh. Ugh, fine. We would be honored to have you fight as allies at the Inquisition's side. We'll discuss this later. I'll pray that the rest of the Inquisition honors your promise. You should be in chains! This threatens all of Thedas. We cannot afford to be divided now. We Idiot. can't fight it without you. Any chance of success requires your full support. I'd take that offer if I were you. One way or another, you're leaving my kingdom. <sighs> we accept. It would be madness not to. I will gather my people and ready them for the journey to Hades. You'll be full allies. The You're our slaves. Where's the... We're going to take this on a point-by-point -point basis. Inquisition. You're going to be a slave. You're conscripted. I think I already do. You bloody moronic elves! What is wrong with you? Why can't you just have brains? Let's join forces with the painter. Bloody idiot. There's a way I can arrange to have her killed. I'm taking it! Ugh. Should've just conscripted, you bloody idiots. Oh, but there's hundreds who only need that. Yeah, um, um. It's not a matter for debate. There will be abominations among the mages, yes. and we must be prepared. If we rescind the offer of an alliance, it makes the Inquisition appear incompetent at best, a tyrannical at worst. What were you thinking, turning mages loose with no oversight? The veil is torn open. Give them their freedom for now. If they prove later, they can handle it. Impose restrictions. And how many lives will be lost if they fail? With the veil broken, the threat of possession. You were there, Seeker. Why didn't you intervene? While I may not completely agree with the decision, I support it. I'm sorry, the honey. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. And here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. I got a taste of the consequences if we fail. Let's make sure we don't. We will not fail. <sighs> Look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. You're staying in my party. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark. Thank you. I'd be honored to help with the plan. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice, but let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to- Wait, 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 are we entering the end game already? That's not, that's no. That is no bueno. Who's over here? Vivian! I don't want to talk to you. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations they really are really disapprove. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. Good idea. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. If you're seeing demons everywhere, do you believe you're a risk? Do you believe I am? We are a risk, darling. Better to know it and use caution. Uh. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. 
Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. Uh, I agree with you. You're preaching to the choir, Vivian. Tell me something. Mm -hmm. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? Uh. Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. Almost as if I'm crazy. It's consider, my dear. Don't call me that. Yes. Investigate. No. I want no chance of there being a union between the two. The Mother Inquisition Giselle. appreciates your assistance in this matter. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. Yep. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. She only had to burn magic to death. should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goal. Doesn't help when stupid elves but get in charge. the breach. We shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. No one will expect us. Farewell, revered mother. Farewell. Josephine. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh dear. Ow. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry should be a place of hope, not another group scrambling for answers. That must be its strength again. The Chant did much to bridge nations. Indeed. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Mm -hmm. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's Chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I can see the importance. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. Yes, yes, brilliant! We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Uh, no. It's an ambitious notion. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montillier? I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. Uh -huh. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. To Vinter. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Uh, how will you? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen, and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. Uh-huh. Uh... I don't claim to be holy. I'll tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. I've never claimed to be saved by Andraste. I'm pretty sure that was the Grand Cleric. Woohoo! Turn in research. That will help. And level up. No. What may I do for you? Anything to report. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Our guests. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Lady Drummond promised a visit, 
She has useful resources if we can get her to set aside her gains. I'll go chat with her. What are her politics? Oh, no, I meant actual gains. A chess, cards, dice, little boards with carved idols from Tevinter. Chess. She made me play that with her for eight hours once. Steer her towards cards if she insists on a match. Okay. What may I do for you? I don't need a report. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently yep. reminded of this. Our guests. Any visit? None in particular. Okay, good. Woo, what do you make of our suave mage? Greetings. Anything to report? What do the people? We've yada. gathered many favors. Any Who did you mean? Special mages. Dorian. You must have an opinion of Dorian. Who hasn't? The man could cause a scene standing quietly in the center of an empty room. <laughs> Still, I do believe he has your best interest at heart. For all that he delights in mocking them from time to time. Right, goodbye. Let's speak to... Goodbye, my knave. Hello? Can I help you with something? Investigate. Goodbye. I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's journey. Hmm? Let's journey into the chat, into the camp. Cullen, 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 Cullen. Liliana, mages, lovely. They should have this breach sealed soon enough. I suppose their gold spends as well as anyone else's. Yep, it's true. And they can make gold, literally. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. You're always looking for some way to benefit, aren't you? It's what I'm here for. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. <laughs> Uh. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Investigate. Any updates? Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle, and resumed his duties as Lord. Oh, good. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Yay. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Oh. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Carry on. Do... We can. Can I help you with something? Uh, investigate. Goodbye. Farewell. Make a go with you. Uh, let's get rid of this. That'll help. Let's go talk to Solus. Let's go talk to Solus. Okay, I can't I can't say his name without thinking soulless. As in without a soul. Dorian, the man! How are the you? Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Hallam Shiral? Cows milking farmers? Uh, I'll think of something. Give me time. I'm sure I'll surprise you. I suspect that's untrue. Unless you strip yourself naked and allow the chantry to flog you into repentance. That would surprise me. Oh my. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For majors in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern majors life. No, I haven't! Well, be like majors back home. <sighs> I doubt that. I don't believe that. It's true. The conditions here are different. Southern majors aren't used to ruling. Thing is. The Imperium was once just like the South. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. That's not at all not what I said. This is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. Uh, have you seen Alexius? Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked despondent broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. 
I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. I'll have to go talk with he them. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left. Okay, where is Felix, anyways? It occurs to me that you're a mage. That just occurred to you. I meant, you must have been part of the circle of magi in the south. Yes. Meaning, you were locked away like a criminal, at least until you rebelled. It's such a bizarre notion. That's not how it was. There are worse things than being kept in the circles. Death, starvation, being hunted by rabid mobs. Yes, I can imagine. Uh huh. Some would say Tavinta is hardly better, depending on which mage you ask. Still, it's so utterly foreign. Yeah, it's I more bet surprising it is. that everyone would take the idea of a mage inquisitor so calmly. They didn't. Maybe it's not calm. Maybe the Antivan crows are swimming in gold from all the contracts on your life. I hope Good so. Good luck with that, by the way. Grand fun being the one in charge. Investigate. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Tavinta, you mean? Beyond that, yes. <sighs> and beyond my being so charming and well dressed, which is obvious to anyone. Oh, so tempting! I hadn't noticed. Some more than others. Some people have superior taste. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. <laughs> I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Oh my. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. Naturally. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Huh. Careful breeding. What do you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Your family's angry with you. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the Magisterium. That would be terrible. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. You don't like Tevinter? I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. For now. It just seems so much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinter is where Thedas truly began, remember? Mm -hmm. We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Well, don't Why worry. The, the more the of the Magisterium we kill, the better your chances Vinter? become of being in charge. <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I concur. I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. Which is bad. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we kill them. I concur. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. Tell me about the Imperium. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minrathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have wings. <laughs> I digress. 
Anything in particular <laughs> oh, right, that you wanted actually to know? But the cows didn't have wings. Just how often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all. That's what any magister would tell you. They'd be convincingly offended by the notion too. Of course, what people call blood magic here and what we consider blood magic are two different things. What do you call it? What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinta? Blood magic isn't inherently dangerous. Using your own blood or that of a willing participant, what's the harm? The problem is that what's permitted only gets you so much power. And what if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. Not officially. Uh, of course not. Behind closed doors, it's a different story. Real blood magic can give you an edge, a leg up against your opponents. Uh -huh. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power, to put it bluntly. Huh. You'd think the Templars would object. I imagine they did, long ago. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off, too inconvenient. Oh my. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused. Most of them probably innocent. No one disagrees. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I do. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a magister who makes noise. And then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Oh, I Meanwhile, bet. that magister will be quietly shunned. Chances are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar all along. Most learn to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure of pariahood. <laughs> uh, what about slavery? Anyone who talks about the Imperium mentions slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah, that is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Back home, it's how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. I'm not even certain many slaves do. Huh. You think slaves like it that way? Don't be ridiculous. I didn't say they like it. It's all most of them know. In the South, you have alienages, slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no way out. Ugh, Back yeah, home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? Is that what you call it? Treated poorly? Abuse I'm getting annoyed. Heaped upon those without power isn't limited to Tevinter, my friend. Nope. I don't know what it's like to be a slave, true. I never thought about it until I saw how different it was here. But I Friday. suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinter excess is the norm. Investigate. Do mages truly rule? It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. Strange? Why are you less qualified to rule than some tart with a fancy crown? <laughs> Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The Magisterium rules. That magisters are all mages is considered a convenient technicality. A convenient technicality. What is the Magisterium, exactly? Hmm. The upper house of the Imperial Senate, and the only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Majors now. It's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. What are you, then? If you're not a Magister, then what are you called? No special title? I'm an Altus. Which is almost as good as a Magister, depending on who you ask. And an Altus is... I've never heard of an Altus. Upper class. Those families who trace descent from the Dreamers, the first prophets of the old gods. If you're a mage and you're not Altus, then you're later. Lower class. If you're not a mage at all, you're Soparati. That's everyone else. <laughs> we do love our fancy Everyone words. else, huh? Yeah. Well, what about the Archon? I thought the Archon ruled over the Imperium. Well, yes. Technically, he can overrule laws passed by the Magisterium, but that never happens. Even so, 
He gets to appoint new magisters, which means all the families buy madly for his favor. Mm. Thus, the Archon gets invited to all the parties. The truest path to Tevinter influence, let me tell you. Mages do rule. If it's a fiction, that means mages do rule, then. Yes and no. Let me put it this way. Mages do rule, but not all mages are equal. If you're not from the right family, chances are you don't rule anything. Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses placated. Is that true? Can anyone be a mage? Technically. The potential runs mostly in bloodlines, but it's been known to happen. More importantly, commoners believe it can. Divinter legend is chock full of mage heroes from humble origins. Ah, I see. So they hold out hope. Someday my son or my son's son will be a mage. Someday. Poor sods don't realize that means he'll be a quaestor at the arse end of the hundred pillars. At best. Is that bad? Being a quaestor isn't a good thing. I imagine the average non-mage likes to think so. Counting numbers and shuffling papers all day is better than many occupations after all. If you're a second-class citizen among a pack of piranha, however, your outlook changes. Let's ask something else. Let me ask you something else. Of course. Investigate. Ta -da. There's an imperial chantry, isn't there? With its own divine. You people aren't supposed to talk about the black divine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face. Like you're urinating in public. But yes, we do have the Chantry. Or a version of it. Night and day comparing it to yours. Investigate. Is the Imperial Chantry so different from ours? Not in theory. The main difference is in the whole magic is meant to serve man, not rule over him business. Back home, ruling the unwashed masses is serving them. For the good of the Imperium. Oh, of course. Perhaps it started with good intentions, but these days it's academic. The circles are in command. You have circles? There are circles of magi in the Imperium. We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. Oh. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers. They don't use Lyrian. Ha! As if there'd be any left for them. They watch for abuse of magic, yes, but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Ah. Mostly they enforce their magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. Huh. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? A disagreement? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a mage. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we feel better blah, believing blah, blah. Andraste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. So we elected a man as divine, the South declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. Uh, your divine is male. So the Imperial Divine is always a man. All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. <laughs> Don't think there aren't a number of female magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. I like this guy. He's as sarcastic as I am. Do you consider yourself Andrastian? Ah. The big question. It might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. Nice. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the south. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relevance. Huh. It's not an opinion that makes me popular. Uh, the Chantry has its place. I disagree. I don't think the Chantry is irrelevant. Not to most, no. Perhaps just to me. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. Hmm. In me? That the Maker sent you, whether through Andraste or fate, Cassandra is not wrong. You are what we needed most at the moment we needed it. That's what they will say in ages to come. 
I agree. That's true. I feel the same. My, someone's full of themselves, aren't Damn it! They? I was just agreeing with you. Don't agree on my account. A little doubt wouldn't harm the Herald of Andraste. Oh. Me? I've seen too much to believe I know everything. The world is bigger than I. Even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. <sighs> the maker the one doesn't time. need me to believe. But I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. Well, let me ask damn. you something else. So many questions. Good to be an ally. I'm wondering if the Imperium would be a useful ally. I think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't, of course. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. Is that smart of them? It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. Mm. We've been fighting the Kunari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, You've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Ah. Anathema so far as they're concerned. But we're not. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. Your very title smacks of the Southern Chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. That's it. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. And that's enough. I should go. Naturally. <laughs> Solace! So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. I don't like you. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the fade? Dorian was sure. Impossible as it seems. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. I, I did. Apparently I saw you there. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I, and Cassandra, Cullen, and the rest failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the <coughs> Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Greetings. Oh, goodbye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Where is he? Uh, the Chantry isn't supporting us. I told you that it was complicated. Without the Divine... You people, with your fancy robes and your fancy words, you think you sing a better chant than the rest of us, but, but you really only hear yourselves nattering on. We don't need a Divine. We have the Herald, and whatever he says is good enough for me. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. <coughs> I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. Uh, what did you expected something else. We needed this. We needed? No, pretty sure that question was never passed my way. And it never will be. Yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. I won't be back. Skyfall. Got the door again, Blissa. Don't know how it keeps breaking. Beric! I bet you've got something interesting to say. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. 
Very bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my red lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for red lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Uh, we need to eliminate it. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. I concur. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? Have a party. That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Something like a banquet. A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let whoa, us know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Need something? Uh, no. No, no. Carry on. How's the mood? You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies. Yada, yada, yada. My cell. Cell. All right. What shall we sell? Let's start with this stuff. selling. Uh, weapons. Sell. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Got the bow. Keep that. Staff of Stasis. That's not too bad. Now we have people to talk to. People to find. A scout in the hinterland saw the Herald of Andraste. Said he sealed a rift and stopped the demons. Yep, that's true. I do that. That's just freaky. Where's that kid at? Jeez, whatever his name is. Hello. Uh, let's just get out here and talk to Colin. Colin, hi. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. You weren't happy with how I brought in the mages. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course not. I have no intention of endangering your alliance. I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the mages. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. I hope you will accept them of as course. such. Uh, I, don't know I should get to know you better. We're working together after all. Mm. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? What? 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 I grew up in Ferelden near Homley. I was 
transfer to Kirkwall shortly after the blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. Just it. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. Mm. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. <laughs> Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. Just good. We're there a long time. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. Tell me about the Blight. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle? What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. Of course. Tell me about Kirkwall. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> what happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. How did it end? What happened then? The Templars should have restored order, but Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. I'll let you return to your work. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Oh, was I there something to you. you needed? Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? Not at present. Is there I'm anything sure. I should know? Not at present. All right. What do you think of the people you work <gasps> with? Who do you mean? Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's? Our number. Some Templars have joined us instead of following. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. Hi, Sandra. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do. Complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. Oh, look, we want else. better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. <laughs> Tempered sop. It never ends, evidently. That's the truth. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. <laughs> Is it that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created Look, there wasn't the a... Uh... Uh... I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh, I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision <laughs> when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things <laughs> now. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. Uh. Hi, Cassandra. Do you need something? You know, that's enough for now. 
Another time. I can't help but notice that the whole romance thing is not working. Honestly. She just doesn't want to be flirted with, evidently. Alrighty, let's head back up there. Um, actually, I'm gonna end the video. Oh wait, there's still people to talk to! Iron Bow. So, that Tavinter guy sent you into the future? Yep. Uh. Weird, right? Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. And you're a mage, so that's saying something. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Starting to wish I'd sided Damn with the Templars. Thing gives me a headache just looking at it. What can I do for you? Nothing. Apparently. See you later, Bo. See ya. You there, Master Dene? All's well. How are the horses? How are your charges? Well supplied. Haven is groaning under the weight. Yada, yada, yada. It wasn't built for Goodbye. this. But we'll make it serve. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Position. So that's the Dracolisk? Foul and corrupt huh. are they? Such a Mene believes these notes could assist you. Uh, craft armor. Come to Sarmor. Yada 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 yada. Another time. I can't find myself carrying right now. Masterwork wave blade. Which is not as cool as a long bearded axe. Blackwall. There was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. What you did for the mages took courage. You gave them a chance. Everyone deserves one. Yes? Investigate. Let's talk about you. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull. Where are you from? Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound all Asian. Marcher, then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marches originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. So you have a past. I hear that many wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. <laughs> uh huh. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden, more or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seemed mm. hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. Plus ups on fire. Never mind we can that. continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Why did this door open? Uh, let's see. Good day to you. O oh, creator, see me kneel. For I walk only where you would bid me. Stand uh -huh. only in places you have all right, let's head back in there. Uh, go and find. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gifts and turned them against him. Ugh. The 
themselves. I saw the leader of the Bulls Chargers, that Iron Bull. He's something, is he not? Oh, go on with you. You can't go making cow eyes at one of those oxmen. No harm in looking, is there? Those shoulders. Those horns. You're mad. Maybe, but I'm not dead. <laughs> Ah, well, he likes redheads. They shall be named Malefica, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. So much chantriness. Ugh. Aha! I didn't hit my head this time. heard he was down in the cells. I don't see him. Oh, whatever. Yada, 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 yada. Alright, with that... No. Yeah, with that, I'm gonna pause it. Later.